Marcus Flynn grew up in Chicago, where many of his teachers were black. If you have a black teacher in a classroom with black students, those students are more likely to enroll in college. That's me. Today, he's executive director of Black Men Teach Twin Cities. We estimate that about half of 1% of all teachers in the state of Minnesota are black men. Not a lot, but Minnesota's new budget puts about $1 billion towards schools over the next two years, with 35 million of that meant to recruit teachers of color and American Indian teachers. It's a really a historic commitment. State Representative Jim Davney explains how it works. Not just one way is going to work to attract all of the future teachers that we need. We do, in fact, have a program that puts introduction to teaching courses, college courses, in the high schools. And State Senator Mary Kunesh points to those already working in schools. As a teacher, I have seen many school staff members who would make excellent classroom teachers. They have the connection with the kids, they understand the students, whether it's a language or culture. New money going toward existing programs that not only seek to recruit, but to retain. Even if we are able to bring a person of color, American Indian person into teaching, they tend to leave at a higher rate than their white colleagues. So looking at ways to better mentor them and support them. Because it's not an easy job. And Flynn agrees, both steps are needed. Because otherwise we'll just be in this revolving door of just always being in this position where we're trying to identify and recruit teachers of color. Well, the new education funding also raises the amount of money school districts get for uh, each student enrolled. There will be a 2.5% increase this coming school year and an additional 2% the year after that.